Some viewers take the EID alone to receive the grant only to get the loan back, but are they alert about the EID loan terms and conditions? Ooh. There's a lot in there. <laughs> Can you hear that? There's a more bombshells. This is a Friday. Hope you're ready for the weekend like I am. This is LLA. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell at the front of this channel so you get alerts when a new video goes live. Earlier today, we dropped a shocking EIDL loan story. I'll drop it in the links above, in which one viewer was denied the EIDL loan, appealed, and won. How did he win? You're going to have to watch that video. We'll be getting to the shocking detail about how to get the grant via the loan shortly, but let me answer a few of the 102 questions of yesterday's video, and there are some shockers in here, so please stay to the end. You're going to be surprised by some of these details. Uh, Johnny Metcalf, I love your voice. You should be doing commercials. Book me. Book me. <laughs> uh, Rich Krupp. There are people out there who should be arrested um, for what's going on here. Bring those handcuffs. Enough skills. Let me guess. Tomorrow there'll be a bombshell. Absolutely. Two of them or multiple. Louis Paduano. Hey, LA. Wow. This is some of what exactly we all need direct contact and incriminate documents for the, all these letters. Um, I'm going to contact my senator where you live with these documents, all the other than say on top of what's going on. Thank you for being what all you've done for us. So if you don't know who he's referring to, yesterday we dropped an EIDL grant story. And I'll drop it in the, uh, in the links above. We dropped one all the letters between Congress and SBA saying you are digressing from the CARES Act, you should be paying $10,000 to all your applicants, you are not following the CARES Act. Also, the Kimberly Butler letter, internal letter to her CFO at, C at SBA, she is in charge of grants, saying, who cares about the CARES Act? Just pay them $1,000 per employee. Finally, a public document, which is widely available on Google that shows all the contact information of all your regional offices of SBA to contact them if you really do think you're entitled to the grant and you're not getting it. It also includes contact information for people featured on this channel from SBA. XX, hey Elliot, and everyone love this channel. I got $1,000 grant at the end of April. The loan offer was $26,000, but I don't want to, but I want to stay under the $25,000, so no collateral, but not sure how much to accept. Do you know if the $1,000 grant will be added to it? Um, so this is really what we're going to answer in shortly about staying under that collateral amount, how the grant triggers it. I'll get to that shortly. Bobby Thompson, I applied for an EIDL grant on April 1, had the credit pulled, $4,000 deposit, got a loan process, $50,000. $53,000. By the way, my credit was six thirty one. Congratulations, Bobby. James Martin. Any word on how long the SBA credit check will take after you receive it? Them? I've seen an Experian. So um, you had an Experian credit check. It takes about, it can take about a week. Um, but if it takes longer to call SBA, Joni Metcalf. Yes, for the bombshells. Thank you. Major malfunction. Is that a refer reference to the SBA? No, that's your screen name. What can be done to force the SBA to open EIDL again for non-agricultural? Not going to happen. Michael Trey. Hey, LA. I need some personal advice from you. Okay, I got approved for $50,000, but I haven't signed the document. After listening to all your information, I want to lower the amount to $20,000 in order to stay away from the collateral, which is coming up later in this channel, in this video. And SBA has extra money for other people. So called SBA, they said they can't change the loan amount because the loan document has been generated. They said I may reapply and go through the whole process again. What? Do you think I should accept this loan amount to obtain my grant? Have you heard of anyone repaying the loan yet? Any issue in returning it? Uh have not, uh, I, I, it is just strange. I have had people on this channel call up SBA, raise the loan amount, lower the loan amount. I've had them do it all. And they've, they said they've gotten it done. So I don't know why that one person said you can't do it. I would call again. That is just simply untrue. Um, Elmer got my loan and my grant, but my credit took a four point hit. Well, that's pretty good. King Cap, how a score? Wow. How are your sources? Wow, you've been getting better info, man. Thank you. Uh, Moel Shu, I got the grant on 5 2, $10,000, but no loan offer. Well, good. Andre, hey, LA, great channel for very informative. I received the $10,000 loan currently processed. My question is, how long does the process need to take? About a week. Uh, I'm not sure you answered this before, but I didn't catch it. About a week. Pizza God, LA, you're a delight. Keep me going. Well, thank you, Pizza God. Uh, my saga continues. Oh, this is all uh, Pizza God. Um, Told me one was for twenty one thousand in advance eight thousand dollars. One was twenty six thousand. I decided he decided to delete the application for less money in the higher advance. Now I have a different amount. 
oh my God. <laughs> then I asked for the estimate amount. At that point, I thought we're done. So I have a suspicion of what I might be offered. I mean, he has a, basically a big question, which is what this topic of the, of the spoiler is today, which is, you know, when the loan amount is going above the collateral, going below the collateral, going above the collateral, how do you deal with that? I mean, it's just a hot mess. Uh, Coco, and he has no answer to it because he says, stay tuned. Coco Camini, hail, hey, I love the bombshells. I was on Zoom meeting with a member of SBA today at 4 to 5. I wonder who that was. The topic was reconsideration. One of the directors most definitely sent in the reconsideration. They have a whole department. I said this on the on the, on the video today about EIDL loan. They have a whole department to dedicated strictly to reconsideration. Uh, I can send you a couple screenshots emailing us members of, of a meeting tomorrow. Great. Edith, loved it. Well, thank you. HGO, you know what? I don't want the loans anymore. After listening to the reg tape, one has to go through and all the rules. It seems like punishment. We're all being punished to forced to stay in our home. It's like a rat maze. Christina Morales, I feel honored. Thank you for be, for mentioning me, for being so informative and even more attentive. We appreciate your work. Well, thank you, Christina. Stay with us for more. I want to know what's going on with you. Curious or non. I'm sorry to see a pattern. A self-employed gig worker is a business of 550 or less are getting purposely screwed when they denied, when they can't get anyone with a brain to do any conversation about a freaking script. Others, I'm betting the ones getting denied also fall into the slightly left center right wing. James McCow. Someone applies for the EIDL and gets a portal invite to view their loan offer and then they're only interested in the grant. But I heard your credit score goes down when logging. Is that true? I'm sorry if this sounds stupid. Uh, it's not stupid. Um... <laughs> and I'm sorry to laugh. Also, um, if you receive any ideal portal invite for a loan and you already got your grant and you don't want a loan, don't click on the email. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Don't click on the email. Now, if you clicked on the email and you went in there uh, and you you know, clicked around, but you didn't accept a loan, and you're worried you got hit by an Experian credit check, just check with Experian. You'll know right away. I don't think you will unless you actually go in there and accept a loan amount. Uh, Lane, Lorraine, hey, LA, a little humor to the side problem with the hands affecting myself. I think the loan officers decided who gets the loans and the grants use the children's counting rhymes from 1820. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, because none of their reasoning makes any darn sense. Who gets on how much it gets? Uh, two hard pulls. Uh, she lost 25 points. Funny thing is tonight I looked at my credit report and went up 22 points. What? <laughs> That's really weird. I don't know why that is. On my Opened my shop back up yesterday. I'm still in the eye hole doing better. I love this channel. You're the bomb. Shelter. Uh, shell. Keep yourself updated. Well, thank you. Stay with us. Robert Henson. Keep on liking it. Like, well, thank you. JR. Applied 330. Got denied. May 7th. Got the $1,000 employee. When I called, I said it's $10,000. All, I, all they say is $1,000 per, per employee is still coming. Now we're in June. Awful. Tracy Rocks. Um, oh, Grammar, Grammar Keys Entertainment. Are the grants still only for agricultural business? Uh, no. If you get approved for a loan, you get a grant. I applied a way back, received an email. It's only agricultural. Should I reapply? No. If you never apply for your IDL and you're brand new to this process, it's closed. Unless you're agricultural. Christine Chester. Um, yes, we drop all the papers in yesterday's video. Okay, so let's get to this twist about the $25,000 threshold, collateral, paying back the loan, taking the loan just to get the grant and all this <laughs> wonderful stuff. Um, the EIDL loan terms and conditions video has still been really one of the big watched videos of this channel and i'm going to go over with it with you basically what the what what you're watching that video for because because i know it because you've commented discordantly the eidl terms and conditions of a loan agreement you need to look at um but i'm going to tell you right now what you need to be on alert for the eidl loan requires you to keep hazard pay for your business the EIDL loan requires you to only use the money for certain purposes and keep incredible records of the manner in which you're using the money and that you can't move things around. The loan doesn't allow you to really change your business operations in any regard substantially without approval of SBA. Now, um, here is the rub. 
the big one that you're really focusing on is this collateral threshold. There's a collateral threshold in the EIDL terms and conditions of $25,000. When you're over it, they will take collateral. When you're under it, they won't take collateral. If you're a good service or a service business, it doesn't make a difference. A service business, you're an accountant. You have chairs, tables, computers, frames, lamps. They'll use that. Con uh, 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 good services, they'll, they'll, they'll take your merchandise. Um, they'll take your shoes if you sell shoes. Now, if you want to stay under the threshold, which a lot of you have talked about, you can call them up and, and reduce your loan amount, or when you get a portal invite, choose an amount lower under that threshold. Here comes the rub, and this is sort of like a new update to the AI Dell terms and conditions that you're really, you're, you're so sophisticated, you're catching on to their games, and I love it. You're, you are concerned that if you go in there and accept, for example, $23,000 and you have already received a $4,000 grant, you are worried they're going to say, well, your loan was over $25,000. On the other hand, if you've not received a grant, you're also worried they're going to do that on the back end. So let's say you accept $23,000 loan and then you the next morning you get a $3,000 grant on top of that, they're going to claim that the loan is $27,000. How do you deal with this? Um, there is two ways to think about it, and you have to decide how to deal with it. The first way is to look at the actual loan agreement. That is the agreement between the parties. So SBA can play any game they want, but if your loan agreement says $22,000 and the, the agreement says we only take collateral over $25,000, then whatever they do before or after with grants before or after or whatever has nothing, no bearance on the contract because the contract between you and them says collateral only kicked in at $25,000. If the loan is less than $25,000, so be it. Um, the loan agreement needs to say the amount. Make sure the loan agreement says the amount. Now, um, the other way to deal with it is to call, is, is to think in that regards, but also call up SBA and say, hey, you know, this is what I'm thinking about, A, but also B, I want you to make, I want you to memorialize this an agreement. I want to have some type of verification or documentation that says, hey, this loan agreement is really this amount. Ultimately, ultimately, um, the agreement is the agreement between the parties. The written document is the agreement between the parties. And so what someone on the phone says means nothing. What someone writes you thereafter may not, may not nullify or change the contract agreements of the party. But you are concerned and you rightly are so. Next, some viewers of this channel uh, before the Memorial Weekend watched that EIDL Terms and Conditions video and said, hey, no way, no how. Uh, I'm giving back the loan. Some of the viewers of this channel have now asked, how do you give back the loan? I don't know. I don't know. Wh and they, they, they said, like, literally, where do I send the money? How do I send the money? I don't, I don't know. It's, it hasn't come up yet. Um, I will also add that a lot of the viewers said, and it was a very watched video, a lot of the viewers said they were going to take the loan to get the grant, and then when they got the grant, give back the loan. That was before Memorial Day weekend. None of the comments since then have said, hi, I, I did that. This is how I did it, and this is what happened. So if you've done it, please drop in the comments below, because other people are asking. Other people are asking, can you, have you accepted the loan just to get the grant and gave back the loan, and what happened? Did you keep the grant? It is just unclear, so I don't have an answer for you about that. Ultimately, the loan, um, the grants, are, if you have not received a grant, you're not going to get a grant unless you accept the loan. And when you accept the loan, you will get a grant, you, but you have to call up SBA, and what I've said is the following three things. Before you sign the loan agreement, call up SBA, ask them how much the grant is, when you're getting the grant, and how you're getting the grant, how's it going to come, and the manner in which it's going to come, and make sure you receive it. Uh, one viewer a few days ago, he has an update, it's since he said he had literally was like on the 10th email with them about asking those questions, and they weren't giving him a clear answer. Get a clear answer. It's your money. It's your it's, it's your grant and your and your loan. So some of the viewers before Memorial Weekend said, oh, you know what? I'm going to take the loan, get the loan, and get back the grant and give it back to keep the, get the grant thereafter. I, if you did that, I don't know what happened. So please drop in the comments below because viewers are asking. So please watch that terms and conditions video. And to the extent that you have additional questions about terms and conditions. I, I'll do another update on this video. I will, I will pull the contract again and go through it in more detail if you need it because apparently it's, it's, it's a big issue.
uh, Louis Cassell. Congress promised more money to EIDL if they need it. We need it. I very well said. Robert Hansen, blow up the phone lines. Yes. Speedy Mendina. I applied 413, got $1,000 grant on 5-5. Should I see a portal invite soon? Yes. About two to three weeks after you receive your grant. Louis Paduano. Hey, Ali, can you please say same thing he, uh, can you don't download the letters um the letters are posted in the video from yesterday for the grant e eddie eric lee uh, i got my ppe pua and i and i live in las vegas i have great credit score um i hope this helps i hope so too uh mickey wilson dude you should go and report from minneapolis We're rock on yeah last night um at 12 p.m pacific standard time la was lighting it up with videos of what was going on in minneapolis it was very um shocking and there was also other cities like louis louisville kentucky that was seven seven people shot danny little got my letter from sba was declined said my loss was not greater than my funds but i haven't received anything help watch our loan video today about how to win a reconsideration uh susie pennington uh mert L L L L Vila. I, I'm new and I've seen your videos. I'm still confused. Is it $10,000 the same as the EIDL events? Yes. Uh, William Mickelson spoke to my attorney, maybe doing a lawsuit for pulling credit report from definite EIDL programs. Absolutely. Keep us up to date. Beauty Babe, look at Texas and Florida. They have $35,000 35, applicant loans approved. The loan officers in these states are letting the money go out while the other states are struggling. Very well said. Some states got enormous amount of loans processed where other states are just I just don't know what went wrong. Um, Tara Mount, Kimberly Butler doesn't think a small business deserves $10,000 while struggling from a pandemic, but her, an individual who has a job during this time, deserves $30,000 on top of her annual income. She needs to be held accountable. Very well said. What our story yesterday detailed was that Kimberly Butler got a $30,000 bonus this last year uh, while not providing you your grant money. Corn Fed, I don't see Kimberly Butler's number on the list. Anyone know the number? Look carefully. Uh, it's there. K James Hickerson. Knows the doc, um, Louis Paduano. Oh, same same one as before. <laughs> Peach Khan. I got a portal um, for the loan, but no grant. Call SBA. Samuel Lombardo. I'm concerned. Why is this letter so blatantly written after Congress telling them to follow the, Air, the CARES Act? I'm confused. I don't know why. I just don't know why they're doing this. Uh, I know what's going on. I don't know the why behind it. Cheddar's Trez. Does anyone know if people are getting a portal invite or getting denied letter? letter? Yes. Um, and that's the topic of tonight's EIDL loan, or earlier today's EIDL loan video. I wonder if I can count on the loan coming through eventually. Hard to say. Um, Robin W., you have a great voice. Love, love, love your videos. Well, thank you, Robin. Stay with us for more. Um, great video. If you have questions about today's EIDL grant, drop them in the comments below. If you have any questions about terms and conditions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you for staying with us to the very end. Uh, drop your comments by 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Saturday. And we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. As always, stay in LA for more.